Okay, so what is this Pythagoras um, theorem? What is it trying to say? How do we use it? What kind of things are we going to <coughs> be asked to do with it? Well, what I'd like to do um, to first try to get a good idea about this theorem is I want you to draw a, a line, get a piece of paper, draw a line that is um, exactly uh, four centimeters long. So, um, so just measure it. Uh, maybe ideally something where you can you can see what is maybe a, a one with a, um, ideally squared paper if you've got it or graph paper. But uh, we want to do four centimeters along the side, and when we want to try to make one that's upwards. Um, exactly upwards so we have a, a right angle triangle because Pythagoras only works with right angle triangles okay so we want that one to be horizontal and then we want to be able to say for certain that this one is <coughs> is vertical okay so that one would be uh, three centimeters okay so um, and then we're going to just draw a line from the end of that to the end of that and then I want you to measure the line from here to here. Now I've not done it accurately, as you can see, I've not really been measuring these lines at all, but I'll tell you that the answer is gonna be, uh, not four centimeters, the answer is gonna be five centimeters. <coughs> and it's possible to work that out using uh, this Pythagoras theorem. I'm going to do it accurately now. I've got these um, squares here, um, that are going to represent the different sides. So, and I've got to rotate them. So that's going to be my um, my longer side, which we can label C. So I'll make that blue. Um, and it actually doesn't matter <coughs> which way, which one you label A and B, which ones you label A and B. Um, so A and B can be labelled the wrong way around, uh, either way around, and um, but but C must be um, must be that uh, the the longest side, which is always opposite the right angle there. Okay. So oops. Okay, I'm going to just lock the <coughs> um, the frame. So okay. Oh, I've labelled him. I've got the colour codes wrong, haven't I? So let's make that one green. I'll make it that shade of green and make that one yellow. Okay, so we're going to make that one like that. Move that one out of the way for a moment and we're going to rotate that so it's horizontal. And you can see now we've definitely got the right length and as long as my whiteboard software is, is accurate, we should find that that is, is five centimeters. It looks like it's working to me, more or less. And it, oh yeah, spot on. So, so if we pretend then that each one of these centimeter, each one of these squares is one centimeter long, then I can say that that would be three centimeters long, that would be four centimeters long, and that's five centimeters long. So I've kind of showed that it really, it, I've, I've, although I can't do it properly because obviously depending on how much I zoom in or out, it's going to affect the length. Um, but if I did it with a pen and paper, I would, I would find that three centimeters long by four centimeters and I'll get a five centimeters length there. So how can I show why that is? It's, as I said, it's this triangle here. <clears throat> if I, in this case, we can see that the um, the vertical side is my A, okay. So and my horizontal side is the B, and the C is the blue side, that, which is a diagonal one. The height, which is the longest side. <clears throat> we call the longest side the hypotenuse. Okay, it's got a special word. The longest side of a right angle triangle is called the hypotenuse. So I can see here that A, according to this, if I was trying to find out what five, uh, what the longest side would be, 
and I, and I just knew this one, I can see that A is equal to three centimeters and B is equal to four centimeters. And according to this, A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. Oops. In other words, C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. And because I've got A is three centimeters, I would write three squared. And because B is four centimeters, I'd write four squared. Now, um, three squared just means three times three, so that's nine. And four squared means four times four, so that's 16. When I add nine to 16, I get 25. Now, this is where a lot of people can make a mistake because they then think, ah, so the longest side is 25. But it's not, is it? Because we've just seen it's five. And the reason why it's not 25 is because I need to uh, I need to square root it. Why do I need to square root it? Because um, c what I've just worked out is c squared, not c. Oh, oh no, just zoomed out by pressing the wrong keyboard shortcut. Uh, where have I gone? Okay. Um, so that's a bit messy as well, isn't it? Let's just rewrite that one. So basically, I know that, uh, let's make that a bit thinner. I know that C squared is equal to 25. So in order to find out C, I need to square root both sides. When I square root the left-hand side, I just get C. So the square root of C squared is C. But I need to square root the right-hand side as well. So square root of 25 is 5. Why is square root of 25 5? Because 5 times 5 is 25. But if you sometimes you might not have such nice numbers. Uh, for example, the square root of 24 would not be a whole number. It would be a, a long number of lots of decimal places. So you would just use your calculator and write, round up the answer um, depending on how the, what the question asks you to do. So, so you can see you can use Pythagoras to work that out. Now, there is a video here which you may find a bit confusing, but once you understand it, it's really clever. So I'm going to try to explain the video now. Uh, what I've done over here is I've got um, all these other squares. You see how we've got blue squares over there, and I've got five, which is five. And I've, also, I've got five by five there. So um, when I said that... Uh, a squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. Well, um, A squared, which is, I said that A was three centimeters here, would be nine. And that's a, that is, well, that's a square, isn't it? A square of three by three. So we have nine squares there. And, um, and B squared would be four by four, which is well, a square of four, so like that. Um, and this is c squared, whoops, this is c squared here. Now, if I were to, um, if I were to take this one here and kind of move the squares around, oh, I don't want to actually rotate it. I can, with a little bit of playing around, uh, I can actually make, I can actually make the other square. That's kind of what the video is trying to demonstrate. So I think it's once you get your head around what they're saying, it's kind of a, a quite cool little trick. So as you can see now, this is the same size as that. And what did I the and the yellow shape is basically what um, this is basically a squared, isn't it? Because a was this side and the green shape was b squared, only I've chopped it up and moved it around a little bit. And when I added the square, the a squared and the b squared together, I got what c squared is, okay? That's basically what it's trying to do. Now, I'm not gonna go any further into this. I wanted just to explain the uh, that bit of it. I could go further if I wanted to properly explain it more thoroughly. I was going to, I'll tell you what, I will do one example question then. 
but <clears throat> but I want I don't want to go any further because I want to have time to look at your other topic and besides which you've got these other videos here um, that you can also check out but let's do this uh, I'll do question one and yeah let's do a couple of questions then I'll do question one first so we start off by labeling the triangle it's a right angle triangle because it's I've got the little symbol down here and so I can label that as A, I can label this as B, and I want to know AB. Well, when we see two letters like that, it means A to B, so it means this longest side, which is the hypotenuse. Well, actually, um, we will learn more about this in trigonometry, but it's the, um, it's we label it C here. And as we wrote earlier on, C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. Um, and that would be in this case, actually, you could at this stage pause the video and see if you can do the question yourself. And if you get, if you get stuck, you can just play the video, see what my next step is and pause it again and then try to do the rest yourself. So, and you can also do that whenever you're looking at the questions below for trigonometry or Pythagoras. Um, okay. So presuming you've paused it and given it a go and maybe you're stuck or you want to check your answer, then it's going to be A is 14. So A squared would be 14 squared. 9 squared, so B is 9, so 9 squared. And then on my calculator, I could just do the whole thing. I just, just go like 14 squared plus 9 squared um, and then press enter. But let's for now do 14 squared. So we can see, we're trying to get ahead around this, right? I know already that eight, nine squared is 81. So then I write, so I add, add those two numbers together. I get 277. And remember, that is not what C is. That's what C squared is. What's wrong? So C squared is equal to 277. And so... C is equal to the square root of 277, which probably won't be um, a whole number. Well, I know it won't be a whole number because I did this question early on today, actually. Um, and it's 16, sorry, and it wants it to one decimal place. So it's 16.6, okay? Now, um, so far I've got two marks out of the three marks. What do we think the final mark will be? Have a think, and it is the unit. Okay. Right, so um, I'm gonna stop there. I realize I don't have some questions about, do I have some questions in trigonometry? I don't I don't have some video videos in trigonometry. I will just, actually I will just briefly say that Pythagoras is when you're only concerned with the lengths of the triangle, the lengths of the different sides, whereas, uh, trigonometry is going to be when you're also interested in the angle. So if you want to know, do I want to use Pythagoras or trigonometry, you just need to um, ask yourself whether or not you're looking at sides uh, of the triangle or, or sides and angles, and then that will tell you which one you're looking at. Okay. All right. I'll put the videos here, but I'll stop this video now.